Well guys, it's that time of the year again. MBAA Vegas 2023 is upon us. We are about to blast off here from the Bay Area, California. Let's just say we're taking the more complicated route. We're going over the Sierra Nevadas because going around LA and the Southway is that's no fun, and it's 30 minutes longer. We're gonna push it to some pretty high altitudes today. Should be pretty fun as we head over to Vegas. We're gonna go private jet shopping for our second jet. Uh, just kidding, I can't afford a $50 million plane, the kind of planes here at MBAA, but it's okay to tire kick and window shop, you know, because maybe one day we'll be affording a uh, brand new Bombardier or something like that. So, should be a fun vlog. We got the F-33 here, trust the old Bonanza, ready to put in work over the massive mountains looming right there, the Sierra Nevadas. We got the Dynon and Avidine package. This will surely help getting us through all of that crazy terrain and getting us over to Vegas, no problem. It's an appropriate shirt for today. Let's do it, baby. I love that. Some fly at 9,000, we land. Highest commercial airport in the US, his Colorado shirt. Fitting for today since it's high altitude flying day. All right, just like that, we made it to Henderson Airport where the show is literally like 100 feet that way, right behind this hangar space. So truly like front row parking, thanks to Owen's buddy. So anyway, we'll just uh, cut to tomorrow morning. Uh, Owen has a very busy schedule. We're gonna try to join him for as much as possible because he's been to the show a ton of times. We've never been before. So without further ado, we're going to bed. We gotta be up at six. So good night and catch you guys in the morning for MBAA Base 2023. All right guys, time to get on the all new Phenom 100 EX. This was just revealed yesterday and they made some changes in the interior, including some changes that will help for taller passengers and pilots. So let's go give it a try. They have more thigh support. What I like the most is when you deploy the table, wow. you have 30% more surface because it's flat. Whoa. And my legs fit under it nicely, <laughs> yeah. And you're tall, how Usually. tall are you? 6'6". Six, six. Oh my god. We designed it for maintainability. Okay, the real test is gonna be if I fit any better in the cockpit. Okay, here we go. The last Phenom 100 I could not fit in at all. Let's give this one a try. Boom, boom, boom. You fit. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. The old Phenom 100, I could not move. My knees were hitting, my head was hitting, my back was hitting. Get this, for a very light jet, this is very nice, and I am very on board with this plane. 
Now I just need to save up uh, however many millions of dollars. And learn to fly. Yeah, that too. <laughs> well, you, can, you can fly. That's true. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful airplane. What do you think? I mean, this is wow, absolutely this. gorgeous. This is the G3000. It's what Ember calls the Prodigy Touch flight deck. Absolutely yeah, yeah. gorgeous, look gorgeous cockpit. that. We, we got to stop this. This is making our citation look like an ancient dinosaur artifact. Okay, Owen's turn. The real one flying the plane who actually needs to fit up there. Look at that. Not bad at all. Love it. Yeah, it's very roomy up here. Almost 1200 nautical mile range. Correct. And like 400 knots, they were saying? Mm -hmm. Dang. Impressive. Phenom 100 yeah. EX. Big fan. $4.9 million. A lot of playing for the money. Good morning, guys. Day two of MBAA Base 2023 is upon us. And my brother just got to town. Sean's here. Tiffany's here. Everyone's here, ready to go for another successful day. Day one in the books. Absolutely incredible. I had no idea there was more to the show than just the airplane sitting out at the airport. I didn't realize there was a whole convention center full of aviation vendors with all sorts of different businesses in the industry. Hall after hall after hall, there were like thousands of people in there. So it was great networking. We met with some really cool companies and it was a whole lot of fun. We learned a lot. But today we're kicking it off by going to the outdoor displays. So without further ado, let's go jet shopping. Okay, check it out, the new Citation CJ3 Gen 2, which is newly unveiled here at the show. Wow, why are we doing this to ourselves? Why are we spoiling ourselves? Wow, this is beautiful. Look at all the gold touches and stuff. Feels like we're on Trump's plane. Wow, what the heck? This is like, this is the most interesting side panel design I've seen. It's like a carpeted wood look. Why are we in here? We could have 10 of our citations for this citation. Whole sink fully enclosed labs. For still being a smaller, smaller plane, they do a great job packing in a lot into a small space. But again, this is just, this is way too bougie. We need this to depreciate for like 30 years. Eight million bucks? Probably more, I don't know, I'll put it up on the screen. We could have a whole lot of our citations. Cool to see the new unveiling here. This is the first time it's been on display. So the CJ3 Gen 2, Looks like a similar avionics panel. I'm guessing this is like G3000 or something. I don't know. All I know is that looks like a spaceship. Look at the seats. These look like the ultra white seats in our Tesla. Super futuristic and modern up here. Wow, love that panel. Citation Max, you are lucky to go flying this around all day. What a treat. What do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? This is way easier to get up here than the Citation 1. Right, tons of room, look at that. And we're tall people, six foot four, and you fit no problem with plenty of room to spare. Similar layout, just millennia newer than our plane. So cool. All right, something to work toward, guys. I lost Jay for a minute, and of course, he's checking out the new Honda Jet. What do you think? Love it. Yeah, this is Elite 2. This, this one is really cool because you have uh, advanced fuel efficiency. You also have, which is really, really crazy on this, they've always had speed brakes, but this actually has a ground spoiler in between the fuselage. It's really, Show really the cool. cockpit real quick, yeah. water in there. This one is beautiful. G3000? Yeah, G3000. Yeah, okay, this is great. You guys all with the same group? Yeah. So Jay, it's kind of cool. You have your SIC endorsement, you yeah, call it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done 6155 training, uh, commonly referred to as the three balances, so I uh, legally can operate as as a second in command in this airplane uh, when the operation calls for it. It's a uh, single pilot operational airplane, but this is the one ideally in the next month or so I will be getting my PSC type in. So that. they just introduced the bigger one, right? They Where is did. that? Is it here? It's inside. It is the Honda Jet Echelon. Here it is, the new Honda Jet Echelon with the biggest baggage compartment I have ever seen. Take a look at this. Are you kidding me? This is the size of an average apartment in New York City and it's the baggage compartment on a Honda Jet. Look at that. All of this baggage will fit in there and the bike, I think. I mean, look at the video. If you think we're lying. Surfboard, dozens of bags, all in here. So if you're somebody who likes to travel with a lot of bags, this might be the jet for you. So what do you guys think? They said the first deliveries will start in 2028 is their plan. So by then, 
I think we could save enough money to possibly pull down one of these things. What do you say? So I think we should try to get a reservation for one. You know, I'm planning ahead. And this, this might be what we want come the year 2028. Shit. On we go. I didn't know that could turn into a bed. Jeez. I reckon this is still considered a light jet. Light jet. This is still single pilot operational. Single pilot. Single pilot. Increase range, increase speed, increase size. Yeah, look at the size. Look at the size. Three huge dudes. This is comfortable. Yeah, I mean, and Jeffrey, you're like a good like seven feet away from me. <laughs> yeah. Back here. Because this is an oval shape versus a circular shape, which is what we have in the 420, you actually have about five inches of additional space here, as well as approximately about six inches of space on the where the foot level is out. Even though it's an inch wider, it feels you know, substantially bigger. Oh, what a plane. What do you guys think of the new Honda Jet Echelon? Do you think this will disrupt that kind of mid-size market? Do you think it'll succeed? Be sure to comment your opinion on the plane down below. Okay, let's take a quick break from all the jets. I know it's fun to fantasize about $50 million airplanes, but this is like a reasonable next step that we might take from some of our piston planes. So if you guys don't know, this is the M350, the new like Malibu Mirage airplane. They're now calling it the M350 instead of the Mirage, but same idea, six seats, pressurized comfort, twin turbo, in this case, Lycoming. TSIO 540, I think. But if you know your Malibus, you would know that the first four years had the Continental TSIO 520, which is designed to run Alina Peak, and you get about 200 knots on 15 gallons per hour. So the efficiency is out of this world. Super long wing. This plane is so cool. I really, really want one, and I think it is an attainable goal here very soon. So comment down below if you know anything about Malibu's, Mirage's, or the new M350. Is it worth the extra money to get the G1000 and the newer Lycoming motor? Or should we get one of the first years, save some money, and then upgrade it in JR Aviation fashion? Anyway, super cool looking plane. The design hasn't changed since 84, and I think it just looks great for being 40 years old. Okay guys, it's time for possibly the coolest part of the vlog. We are going to tour the BBJ. The Boeing 737-700, is it? Yeah, this BBJ is specifically based off of the 737-700. And it's probably, I'll put the price right here, many, many, many eight figures. Probably approaching $100 million, depending how you configure it. Yeah. Like, mind blown. And they're allowing us to go on it? Are you kidding me? So this is an airplane, you guys, like Southwest, United, American Airlines, they use this for commercial air travel, you know, with 100 plus seats. Yeah, like 160, 170? Yeah, depending on, you know, this is a 700, but yeah, 800, 900, right? So this is an airplane that is specifically configured to be a private jet. Holding like, I wonder what the, this one's configured for. 40, 50 people? 30? Well, yeah, probably not even 40 or 50. <laughs> I mean, I guess at that point, it really depends on the owner and how many, you know, what their mission is. But this is a very unique experience, something that neither of us have ever had to, the opportunity to do. Oh, so. never. Look at it. There it is. It's so beautiful. Without further ado, let's go touring the most expensive plane at the entire show. Oh my goodness. BBJ. How are they allowing us on this thing? To get an appointment to be on this plane is like near impossible. You gotta be like a billionaire. Let's not break anything. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Look at this. There's a bed on the plane. This is when you know you've made it in life, when you have a bed on your airplane. Billionaire status, what the heck? This is insane. We were just in a light jet, a Honda jet. Then we went to a G650ER, which was, I mean, huge, huge, huge upgrade. I mean, that's an amazing airplane, right? That's a 60, 70 million dollar jet. Now we're on a 737-700. First time ever, you guys, look at Jeffrey. He's not touching I, the roof. I was about to say, this is the first private jet I've been able to stand up straight in. Wow, six foot six. Not even close to bumping my head. Of course, it's a dang airliner, you'd expect that, but still, very cool. First time ever for me. This is a king bed. Oh, and what the heck are we doing? Why are we flying Bonanzas? We don't belong here. <laughs> this is just crazy. Let's just sell all of our planes and all of our cars, and then maybe we'll be able to afford a tank of fuel on this thing. Oh my gosh. Did you show them the bathroom? Oh, what's back shower? here? Oh my god. What? 
What the heck is this? this is some Emirates A380 type stuff with a shower on the plane. It wraps all the way around. This is crazy. And I think what we're looking at is one, two, three TTNL seats. Wow. Yeah, this is 19 TTNL 19 seats. seats. Including Okay guys, just got off the 737 BBJ. What an experience that was. Special thanks to the staff here for allowing all of us to come on board. That was probably the coolest airplane I've ever been on. A hundred and something million dollars. You're talking a nine figure aircraft with an interior that's built for a billionaire. I mean, to have a king bed on your plane, to have showers, to have multiple bathrooms, I mean, just mind blowing. And get this, it was configured for only 19 passengers. Normally on the airlines, it would hold 150, 160 people. So imagine that, flying with 18 of your best buds anywhere in the world, basically. I mean, 6,500 nautical mile range, that'll take you far and wide. Maybe one day I'll win the lottery. And there's the other one, Sam Choi got on that one, so stay tuned for his vlog, the Airbus. What do you call that? ABJ? ACJ, Airbus corporate jet based off of the A220. Oh, yeah. ACJ. ACJ oh, right there. Only 5,600 nautical mile range. Come on, the BBJ was 6,500. Battle of the $100 million airplanes. What would you guys rather have, the ACJ or the BBJ? All right, guys, welcome to the Prater 600 by Embraer. I love the seats right off the bat. How wide? Oh, the the diameter of this cabin My wife used to watch is massive. Yeah. From Minneapolis? Like, so we used to go up to you know, you know, the point of, you know, you can tilt like the seats. Okay. Look at that, the Proline Fusion cockpit. Again, it's a space shuttle in here. Look at this thing. This is incredible. Blown away by the Prater. I've heard great things, so I knew it was going to be good. I just didn't know it would be this good. Put this one on the bucket list too, all right guys? Okay guys, we found the man, the myth, the legend. What were you most impressed with here at the show today? Or what do you think about the BBJ? Because I know you're the expert on BBJ. No, I, I am not an expert on anything. Yeah, you are. Uh, just you're, you're everywhere. You, when people come out of the show, they generalize the show. They think this is just a rich man's uh, coming out buying a 40 million toy. It is, but there's much more to it. There's actually like aviators and enthusiasts like us come out to network. For a junior pilot, this is an avenue, a stepping stone, an opportunity for people to get into aviation, to build their hours, to fly on a bigger jet, to move on. So I think the show has been much more. Something truly for everyone. It's my first time here. I know you've been here a lot, but this was mind blowing. Jay and I both have never been and we had such a good time. And I think the highlight was probably going on that BBJ. What, what's the biggest? Boeing business jet you've been on? I'd be yes. very lucky. I've flown on a 747SP. That was the biggest one. I flew on the Airbus 340s. Every time when you fly, it doesn't matter size, still exciting. Got my license in 21. I have a private license. I mean, continue on and offline, but my plan here is continuing IFR and commercial oh, yeah. up to 250 hours by next year. Hopefully, your video will count me to it, and I'll see you guys next year. Great media, Thank great words so of wisdom, awesome and uh, we'll hold you to that 250 hours, okay? So you guys saw it here on the vlog. Check out his channel if you haven't seen it already. I'm sure you already have. He's all over our Explore page every time we open up YouTube, but for good reason. Love your content. Thank you. Thank you. Well guys, that's a wrap for MBAA Base 2023. What an incredible show it was, but uh, I have to end this video with some news. So do you guys remember how in the beginning of this video we said that we would be kind of fantasy shopping or like window shopping, you know, not really serious about actually buying a jet, more so just documenting the show for you guys. Well, um, we might have done a little more than just fantasy shopping. Long story short, we signed an LOI, a letter of intent, to purchase a brand new jet. I'm not gonna say too much now because it's still gonna be years before it's built and delivered, but I'll leave it at this. If everything goes how we're planning, then one day on this channel, there will be a YouTube video taking delivery of our brand new blank. I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You can guess in the comments down below, but I will say it was one of the jets shown in this video. So hope you guys liked it. No, the title was not clickbait. We were genuinely jet shopping and we basically walked away with our name on one of these jets. So that's incredibly exciting. But like I said, I'm gonna contain the excitement. Be sure to click that like button down below. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. So that would be greatly appreciated. And be sure to comment down below. What was your favorite plane at the show? I know it's hard to just pick one. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great week. We'll see you in the next one. That it feels right